right, in this lesson, we're going to start talking about crafting page layouts. Now, there's two basic kinds of layouts, and that's a CSS-based layout and table-based ah, table layouts. Sorry. Now, in this lesson, we're going to get into creating a CSS-based layout. So, first of all, <coughs> from the welcome page, we can either choose Create New HTML. We're just going to start with a blank page, which will accomplish the same as File New and Blank Page HTML, and we want Layout None. Now, remember, the other one we created had an existing um, we picked an option from here, but this time we're going to pick none. So click create, and there's our blank HTML page, which I believe we used before when we created our information page. But we're going to choose what panels we want, and we want the CSS styles panel. So click that. So. <clears throat> The first thing we're going to do is make sure that all is selected, and we're going to create a new CSS rule. So down here, beside the attached style sheet, we have new CSS rule, and that's what we're going to choose first. Now, it might default to class. We want the selector type to be tag redefines the look of a specific tag. And then we want to choose the body because we basically want to start with a neutral canvas and we want the background just to be a blank white. So what we're going to do is we're going to define the tag for body, tag, body, and make sure to choose this should be defaulted so we want to choose this document only. And once we hit OK, a new dialog box will come up. And now, under background, that's where we're going to go first. We're going to change it from a gray to a white, like so. And now we're going to go to block. And we're going to go to text align. And we want to do center. And it'll be centered in the browser window, although the text will be aligned left. That's what this will do. All right, now under box, padding and margin, we're going to choose 0 and then 0. All right. And once you have that, <coughs> you're going to hit Apply and OK. All right. Now let's save it. We've created our blank body background. And we'll call this Layout design dot HTML all right so now we've begun with a neutral state and now in the next lesson we'll begin defining the layout containers for the page so this has just got us started so make sure to save it 